Now, algae is like bryopsis and hair algae and dino and all these other annoying things that grow in your aquarium grow on various nutrients that are abundant in the tank, such as nitrate and phosphate. So what happens is the nitrate and phosphate leaches into your rock and your rock acts like a big sponge, which is almost like a buffering capacity. So over a period of months and months, your rock can fill up with nitrate and phosphate. And then eventually you end up getting algae and that gets your attention. And then you decide to start fixing the nitrate and phosphate. And then you find that your nitrate and phosphate will test at zero because you've got it all out of the water column and yet your algae just seems to keep on living even though your levels are zero. Now the reason why that's happening is not just to completely frustrate you and piss you off, it is because the nutrients are slowly leaching out of the rock once the concentration of the water is actually decreased. So you've got to be very patient and you've got to understand that these algae problems took time to produce and they take time to fix. So there are various products that are gonna reduce algae by starving the algae, but you need patience to starve algae because algae has got a reserve in regards to nutrients that are gonna slowly excrete out of the rock. Now, as you keep on improving your water quality and the nutrients keep on exiting the rock, then eventually you will get to a point where your um, nutrients stop being released from the rock and then your algae will start to starve, just probably not in the timely fashion in which you would imagine it's going to occur. And this whole time you can test zero ammonia, sorry, zero nitrate and phosphate, which you'll find very confusing. How is my algae still growing when I've got zero nitrate and phosphate? And that's because these nutrients are slowly leaching out of the rock and the algae is accessing it. Then what will happen next is once the nutrients are actually out of the rock, then the algae will actually start to die. And then as the algae starts to die, it releases the nutrients that it harbors and then other algae gets to live. So it's a very slow process to create an algae problem and it's a very slow process to fix an algae problem. Now, there are various products that you can use most of your carbon-based products with an effective protein skimmer is a very efficient way of getting rid of nitrate. And nitrate is a very simple thing to get rid of because it's very easy to test and very easy to understand. Now, phosphate is not so easy. So, though a carbon-based um, NOPOX pr type product is going to do the job for the um, nitrate, Phosphate is not so simple because phosphate is available in various forms within the aquarium, including calcium diphosphate within the actual rock itself. So products like lanthanum, or lanthanum is great because that's going to get in there amongst the rock and actually um, neutralize your phosphates. Um, there is various ferric iron products. You can do water changes. There's lots of things that you can actually use to control phosphate, but um, you need to stay the course because you can't go expecting you're gonna fix any of these problems quickly because these problems will take time to fix just like they took time to create. So even when you're level zero, you've gotta be patient, stay the course, keep reducing the nutrients until you get back into a, um, a good situation. Anyway, if you've got any tips on this particular subject, make sure you put a little note on the bottom of this video. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe.